Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas and I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia and of course we're back with another awesome music video today and I just wanted to address something that I've been hearing about a bit in the comments and that is to Floyd or not to Floyd and what I mean by that is maybe not this but this is cool <laughs> I'm not talking about Pink Floyd today, but what I'm talking about is what's called a Floyd Rose Bridge. And it's um, basically something that goes there on your guitar and it allows you to alter the pitch by pushing it up and down. Um, it's commonly referred to as a whammy bar. And I've been getting a bit of guff from some folks saying, hey Rob, how come you don't have a guitar with a whammy bar and I will tell you straight out of the gate that I don't have one um, so like I never thought to get one and it's not because I don't like um, having a floating bridge and and all of that magic that comes with that and it's yeah nothing to do with um, yeah, me disliking it or anything, but I just really, just, I don't have one, and it's as simple as that. Um, um, I've played in a few gigs and things like that, and, um, you know, I just, um, yeah, thought I'd keep a fixed bridge, and, yeah, keep it pretty simple like that, but... If you're like me and you don't have a guitar with a whammy bar, you can make do with a lot of other sort of sounds and playing techniques. And that's what I'd like to talk to you about today because this is how I've been able to, you know, as they say, fake it till you make it without having uh, one of those, you know, tools in the shed that I can grab out and, and use. And um, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, just face melting noises you can certainly make with a Floyd Rose uh, slash whammy bar and there's certainly a lot of face melting sounds you can make without that and that's what I'd like to talk to you about today and um, yeah one of the main sort of things that I like to play is um, a variety of what's called harmonics so let's play some now and see how that sounds oh actually um, of course, there's a few different types of harmonics. There's natural harmonics, there is pinch harmonics, and or artificial harmonics, as they're known. So we'll quickly do a deep dive into all of those. I'll show you how to play them, and yeah, show you what they sound like, and how you can hopefully learn something from like what I do uh, in terms of getting those face mountain sounds, so you can have those face mountain sounds at your disposal. So let's check out a couple, the first being natural harmonics, they sound like this. <laughs> That's basically what's called a natural harmonic and what you're doing there is instead of you know fretting the note normally like for example which you know we're all used to what you do is you just when you go to play the note instead of fretting it proper like I did then is that you just sort of lightly hold your finger tip over the string so don't push it down, but just touch it and bang. And that gets you that sort of chime-like bell sound. And there's a few of them that you've got to find on the fretboard to, you know, get the result you're after and whatever fits the song and whatever sounds good to you. And yeah, you can do that like in a lot of places like and there's many famous riffs that use them so now I couldn't 
play that correctly because uh, copyright infringement is going to give me a hard time. But if you know that song, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks, uh, copyright algorithm thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a ton of riffs you can play, like... ...and so on and so forth. So the sky's the limit, and just chuck them in wherever you like. And, you know, you can still get a couple of wild sounds. What I did just there was just played the harmonic on the 5th fret on the G string and the 7th fret on the B and you can hear those two really fight against each other there's a lot of dissonance in those notes and then to make it even more dissonant what I do is just grab your two V for victory fingers and go behind the nut of the guitar so sort of up where your tuning pegs are and just push the strings down and mess around and that gets you that sort of that gets you that sort of simulated sort of push over the edge whammy bar effect and that's without having a whammy bar so you can be the star without a whammy bar if you try that. And yeah, just mess around with that sound wherever you like. Uh, the next one, of course, is what's called artificial harmonics. And this is where we're doing pretty much the same thing. So lightly touching the string, but um, we're playing a note. So you get that. <laughs> Essentially what you're doing is the same technique, but you're playing the note normally. There, or there. Like, so you're just playing the note normally, but you're doing that same thing, that same touching the string lightly bit. You're doing it with this hand, your picking hand and you're getting this little meaty bit on your thumb on your picking hand and you are creating that effect uh, when you hit the string so you get that so essentially when you hit the string with your right hand in my case or your left hand it could be uh, whichever one it is what you're doing is you're hitting that string but you're very lightly touching it after you hit it with that, as I said, that meaty bit on your thumb, and that does have a harmonic effect, but you're doing it from there. And again, there's a few different nodes and um, like little sweet spots, we'll call them, that you can grab the trophy with and tackle, and you know, that gets you that. sort of sound has been made famous in a billion songs like Lagrange by ZZ Top or ZZ Z Top as they say in some parts of the world um, and of course Pantera, um, Metallica, um, Megadeth uh, and you know others like Black Label Society you'll always hear our good mate Zach Wilde you know giving it the juice with a bit of <laughs> stuff like that and depending on where you um, hit the string as well like of course you've got a bit of a lawn bowls green in terms of you know real estate where you hit the string um, it will give you like a different pitch so let's try so I've got the third fret on the E string Oh, did I mention I'm tuned to E flat and I really like E flat? Maybe. Anyway, so you've got that particular um, 
third fret on the E flat string and you know wherever you so wherever you position your picking hand you can actually produce a whole lot of different sounds like <laughs> Extrapolate that, move it around to the other um, strings, and yeah, I hope you try that technique out and dig the hell out of it. And again, um, with that, like we did with the natural harmonics, you can, you know, chuck two strings together and hit them both at the same time and come up with some real dissonant sounding stuff, which is going to annoy the neighbors. So let's try that. So I've got the second fret on the G. G flat and the second fret on the B, B flat. And let's see how that sounds when we just chuck them together with some more of those natural, well not natural, no, artificial pinch harmonics. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Bang, you can chuck that in a riff somewhere. So for example, you're playing like, um, this <laughs> bang you got yourself a winner there and that's gonna um, hopefully make some people you know have their ears melted as well as their faces so see how you go with that another thing um, that I like to do and this is up to you but you know is like this real insane wild bends so for example um and again dissonant bends so normally you know uh you know we've got like bends like <laughs> lots of different bending combinations and the sky's the limit but to make some just real um, again face melting sounds I like to grab you know a couple of notes together and just bend them and you know how the saying goes if you don't play the right note bend it until you get the right note and yeah take that to the bank so a good one is your old <coughs> It's just something you can chuck in your solos. You can do it anywhere again. And then say if you combine like a big bend. And then just release it really slowly like that. Um, that's again on the B flat and the E flat. And what I'm doing at the 10th fret is just grabbing that G oh no, sorry, the B, and just sending it skyward, and just going. And just releasing it really slowly, so you get that kind of note fighting against each other, and you can do that anywhere you like, really. And yeah, chuck in your other harmonics as well, like a pinch harmonic, there, like that. that extra juice and yeah push it across the edge even if you want to you know chuck in some big wild bends and those pinch harmonics as I said and some natural harmonics you come up with something like <laughs> hopefully anyway um don't take your advice from me just try it out and yeah see what wild sounds you can come up with and yeah hopefully you're on a winner and yeah let me know if you want to hear about any of the other just wild and wacky sort of sounds that um, I try to make without having the 
the whammy bar. And yeah, any questions about guitar, feel free to shout it out loud in the comments below. As always, um, you know the drill on YouTube, like and subscribe. <laughs> And leave a comment below if there's anything that you want me to talk about, of course. And yeah, um, hopefully I can catch you in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching this far. And yeah, I really appreciate it if you liked the video. And if you didn't like the video, then I really appreciate that as well. And if you've watched it this far, um, yeah, many thanks. You guys are absolute legends, so stay cool. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video for a lot more fun and some cool music. And yeah, let's see what other little um, uh, nuggets we can dig up on the guitar and have a heap of fun along the way. Look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.